and that difficulty we are in. The behavior of things on a small scale is so fantastic. It's so wonderfully different, so marvelously different than anything that behaves on a large scale. You say, electrons act like waves. No, they don't exactly. They act like particles. No, they don't exactly. They act like a kind of a fog around the nucleus. No, they don't exactly. And if you would like to get a clear, sharp picture of an atom, so that you can tell exactly how it's going to behave correctly, you have, have a good image, in other words, a really good image of reality, I don't know how to do it. Because that image has to be mathematical. We have a mathematical expression, strange as mathematics, I don't understand how it is, but we can write mathematical expressions and calculate what the thing is going to do without actually being able to picture it. It would be something like a computer that you put certain numbers in and you have the formula